Let's learn in this video how to create a complete pipeline to deploy an Azure BICEP template in using Azure DevOps pipelines. The objective here is not just to deploy the BICEP template, but also to add other steps like scanning that template and verifying the resources that will be created by that template and also manually approve the changes that will be made by that template. So let's see how that works. For this demo, I have prepared the scripts and all the required files into this GitHub repository. And then I, in my Azure DevOps, I have already created a new pipeline. And into this pipeline, I have used this following YAML file, which is, by the way, available on the Git repository. When you go to Azure Pipelines, you will find the second YAML pipeline with two stages. So let's see what this pipeline will do. So first, this will be we'll use some variables like the resource group that will be created so that BICEP can deploy the resources into that resource group. Then the location, web app name, template file, which is my BICEP template that uh, I'm going to deploy. And by the way, that BICEP template will go to deploy a web app on Linux and it will go to deploy an app service uh, plan. So those are the two resources deployed by that uh, BICEP template. Of course, it's using here some parameters like the web app name, SQ, uh, location, and some variables that we can uh, override from this file. So coming back to our pipeline, that pipeline will run on uh, Ubuntu uh, latest. Um, and then I'm defining here two stages. So I have first stage for pre-deploy and the second stage for deploying the BICEP template. So in my first stage, what I'm doing here is that I'm creating a job and that job I'll go to run two tasks mainly um, or actually three uh, three tasks so first task here is to scan the bicep files and for that I'm using the run rmtdk tests which is an open source um, uh, an open source uh, task available within the Azure marketplace, within the Azure DevOps marketplace. So I have configured that task in order to uh, point to, uh, to my BICEP uh, uh, templates and then um, run the scan and uh, copy the results into a folder right here. And then after that, uh, I go to publish those results found by the previous task because this task actually doesn't publish the results itself. So I need to add another task to publish the test uh, results. So that is using n unit as test result format. And then I'm pointing to the folder where I have my results available as XML files. And after that, I'll go to preview the BICEP changes. So from here, I'm using the Azure CLI to connect to my Azure subscription. And then I'm running a script with the AZ command line. So the, my script here is AZ deployment group what if. That's the command we use in order to preview the changes that will be made to my Azure subscription before uh, deploying uh, the resources in reality. And then next on the second stage here, I have defined two jobs. So first job is wait for validation. This one will send an email or a notification within Azure DevOps to the required uh, group or to the required uh, person with their emails here saying, hey, you please, you need to validate this deployment so that it can continue running. So here what I'm, I'm putting a message here for them to, to be displayed. And I'm also displaying the build.build ID, which is the build ID number for Azure DevOps and I'm passing that as an environment variable. If it times out, then the, my pipeline will go to resume. And of course, you can change this setting uh, the way you want it to, to, to do. My second job is to deploy to Azure. And this is my final task, actually, where here I go to take my BICEP template and then I run the AZ deployment group create within the Azure CLI command line, which is connected to my uh, to my Azure subscription using a um, service connection. Okay. And from there, I go here to say, uh, please deploy the BICEP template into my Azure subscription. And note here how I am overriding some parameters from within my template, like here, the web app name. Great. Let's go to run this pipeline and let's see it in action. Once that's run, it will show me here the two stages. So first stage with one job and second stage with two jobs. My pipeline started running and here it shows me 100% of tests passed. So let's see that pipeline right here. So it did actually scan the BICEP files 
and it did also publish the results into the Azure DevOps dashboard and now it's previewing the bicep changes that will be made to my Azure subscription. So let's go one step be, uh, behind and let's go here to click on the tests that were passed and here yeah I can see the 29 tests passed by the uh, RMTTK test uh, 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 task. <laughs> So here we can see those all the tests that were run for my tablet. So actually my bicep template was uh, compiled into a JSON ARM template and then it did run the ARM TTK tests onto this uh, these uh, JSON files. So here we see all the checks that were that was made and all of them they passed right here like the uh, checking the location, the API versions, the parameters, the IDs, the admins, uh, URIs and so on. And getting back to my pipeline here, I can see that now for running the second stage, I have one manual validation passed and the second job is waiting for that first job for wait. Because here, I remember in my pipeline, I have already set up a, depend, a dependency between these two jobs. So the second job won't, will not run until the first one will run. So I go to click on this manual validation. Note by the way that here we would have also an email that was sent to the person concerned with this. So either I click here on manual validation passed or I click on the review button from here where here I get the, the message or the, yeah, the message saying that I should validate uh, this configuration for the build uh, for within this build number. So here I have two, two buttons either to reject or to resume running this pipeline. So I go to resume running and once I do that here immediately it will go to run the second uh, job immediately. And yeah, here it is. So now it's deploying the resources into Azure and once it finishes, actually I should have uh, the resource group created within my Azure subscription and with also an app service and an app service plan should be created. I hope you liked this video. Thank you.